Matrix is real. Five ways to pull yourself free and live more prosperously. As millions of people flood cinemas to see the Matrix movie, most of them will have no idea that in fact they're plugged into a real life Matrix. However, the real life Matrix is not run by power hungry computers, it has everything to do with the way people have been programmed since they were babies. Before virtually everyone learns to talk, they become plugged into the matrix of fear and limitation. Another name for it is the culture of lack programming, or the poverty consciousness. In too many cases, it's keeping people living paycheck to paycheck and building a mountain of debt instead of a nest egg for the future. They work for money, instead of money working for them, as it's supposed to be. These people often have to take additional jobs and end up losing their freedom, and that has tremendous impact on them. They become needy. Their self-esteem takes a dive, because they must rely on their jobs, their bosses and perhaps others they have no time or energy to spend with their partners or children. Love life. Not a chance. In fact, they're under so much stress, they're more likely to take it out on their partner and children, causing everyone to suffer more. This often causes families to split apart they don't see a way out of this spiral, and it seems to only get worse. This causes them to lose hope, their work suffers, and their life becomes a struggle. Hold on, though, because there is hope. Here are five things people can do to get back in control of their lives and start breaking free from the matrix. Stop associating with negative people. Being with complainers and gossipers, well, let's just say it has a greater effect than people realize. Instead, surround yourself with positive, optimistic people who will leave you uplifted and full of hope. Stop complaining yourself. It's really true what they say, that what you focus on expands. When you draw your attention to what's not working in your life, you get a whole lot more of it. Instead, get into the habit of focusing on what is going right in your life, and being grateful for that. You'll start getting more things to be happy about. Keep your TV off, or sell it, and don't read or listen to any, news programs. All they do is promote fear and get people to focus on what's not working. We already talked about how harmful that is to each of us. The media also gets people to focus on what's not right about themselves, mainly through commercials, doing tremendous damage to their self-image, which has major impact on what they believe they can achieve. Become a lifelong learner. When you read books and listen to tapes on personal development, you become a better person. That helps you realize just how much power you have and you make better decisions. It's also true when they say that problems are never solved at the level of thinking that created them. Listen to an inspirational tape a day and you'll quickly rise above what previously seemed like insurmountable problems. You'll also counteract a lot of the negative programming you're exposed to dozens of times every day. Become a critical thinker. You've already limited your exposure to negative, harmful messages from the people around you, the media and even your own self-talk. Yet you may not be able to prevent it all from affecting you. For example, much of the programming you've learned came from your parents, and you probably don't want to break all ties to your family. And because almost all your poverty consciousness beliefs are based on habits you've had for perhaps decades, it will take serious work to counteract this programming. By being super critical of your own thoughts, the movies you watch and even the songs you hear, you can at least reject the influences you're aware of that keep people down. Taking these five steps to heart will enable you to change your life and your financial circumstances, actually as quickly and to the extent that you embrace them. In truth it always has been within your power to determine how wealthy you are, and it is your birthright to be rich. By replacing the old habits and beliefs that don't serve you, and making these five steps the foundation for your new habits and actions, you'll be able to pull yourself from the matrix of fear and limitation, and instead be free, living a life of prosperity and abundance.